Hey guys, I'm going to be experimenting with different kinds of paint on my gel plate and making swatch cards so I can refer back to them and know what works and what doesn't work. Okay, so I have my stack of paper that I've pre-cut. This is just 67 pound uh, Bristol vellum. This is going to work just fine for my purposes. I have a brand new 3x5 gel plate, a speedball 2 inch brayer, and then I have a pen because I'm going to write down on uh, my paper exactly what I'm using so, you know, I won't forget. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to take out my brand new gel plate. I love a brand new gel plate. Okay, so I have to remove the skin. Not really a skin, it's a piece of plastic that keeps everything nice and clean. There. Put it down right there, move my paper, and let's get started with the first paint. Okay, so this is folk art. It's called Matte Finish Acrylic Paint, and I'm using the color Yellow Ochre. So I'm going to give it a little shake. Let's see if I can put just a little bit of paint down. Is this brand new? Let's check. Okay. Squeeze some out just a bit. And I'm going to write down exactly what I used. I guess this video is going to take a while since I'm writing, but you guys know y'all can speed through to the part, any part you want to look at. Let's see, this is called, well, I'm just going to put acrylic, matte acrylic paint. Okay. Okay, I should have had the foresight to, uh, to write all that out, but I didn't. It's going to be okay. Isn't this a pretty color? I'm really looking forward to seeing how all these different, different paints. Now that looks like the perfect amount of paint on there. Maybe not, I don't know. I could actually take some off, but I think it's okay. Um, we're gonna lay down our swatch. Now I think what I'm going to do when I'm done, guys, is put Put a little, um, a little hole maybe at the top somewhere so I can string everything together to keep it in one place. At least that's the idea in my head right now. I could get out my Baron to do this, but it's small enough I can just use my fingers. Now that's pretty. Look at that beautiful color. Now you can still see my um, the lines from my brayer in there. If you don't like that, you can always uh, work it some more. But guys, this is just a sample that I'm, you know, I'm not trying to create a piece of art, so it's fine. Okay, so that works really well. I was expecting it to go that way, so that's fine. I'm just gonna with a little wet towel and then go over it with a dry towel and we're ready for the next color okay so this let's see is um, this is called the color is called cheddar and this is a Dina Wakely acrylic paint this is made by Ranger okay Right. Give it a little shake. You just need a little bit of paint, and that actually might be too much, depending on the size, guys, of your um, of your gel plate. You're going to need, a, you know, obviously, um, you know, different quantities of paint. But this is oh, there's a little something in my paint. Um, this is such a small uh, gel gel plate. You really don't need much. Guys, I love working with a gel plate so much. I 
just love it. Okay, I'm going to put this right down on there. And I'm expecting this one to work just fine too. Now there's some other media I have in front of me that I just have no clue how it's going to turn out. And that's what's exciting. I can't wait to, how, to see how that works. I love discovering new ways to make art. Oh, see now that turned out fabulous. Beautiful. It's a beautiful color too. I think um, her cheddar, this color by Dina Wakely, is very, very popular. I love it. Okay, what color is next? Oh, okay. This is Forest Moss. This is a Tim Holtz uh, paint. It's called Distressed Paint. It's also made by Ranger. And let me grab my my little wet cloth and then dry it. Give it a little shake. Now this one has a little, uh, a little ball inside. You can hear it shaking. Okay. Now this is much more fluid of a paint. Uh, the Dina Wakely paint is very, this is not the same formula guys, in case you're wondering. The same company makes them, but the formula itself is very different. This is much thicker. Think of this as like a heavy body. And this is very, very, you see how it's just starting to, you know, it doesn't really hold its shape. Um, if, you, if you're looking for a paint that's gonna hold a brush stroke, um, I would choose the Dina Wakely. If you want more of a fluid, very thinner, um, uh, almost a stain of like a paint that's it's it's you know very fluid. Choose the the Tim Holtz. So I hope I explained that right. Okay. Beautiful color. What color is that again? Forest moss. Oh, I love it. Beautiful color. I'm trying to get out a lot of this. Why is it beating up on me? I don't know what's happening here. Okay. Get a piece of paper. Um. Okay. I was watching somebody um, use their jelly plate the other day in their art journal and I was just fascinated. I was watching it and watching it. I couldn't stop. I love watching other people work. I get great ideas, inspiration from other artists. Oh, look at that color. Now, that is an interesting pattern, guys. I don't know if that um, is always going to do that pattern. You know what? I have to do this one more time just to see because that is a very odd speckled you know, print. Let's see if it'll do it again. And I'm not even going to bother um, making another card. I'm just going to use that card. But yeah, look at it, guys. I don't know why that is. Do you see how it's kind of... Um, Wanting to, um, oh, oh, I didn't put it all the way on the cord, right? But it'll. Now that is smoother. Maybe I had water or something on my on my plate that caused that. Isn't that interesting? Okay, all right. Let's clean my plate and start over.
Maybe it just wasn't dry enough. That could have been something. Okay. The next color is, let's see, this is Home Decor Chalk Paint. This is made by Folk Art. And this is Spanish Moss. Ooh. Oh, it's brand new. Look, guys, I haven't even opened it yet. Let's see. This is gonna... I have no fingernails, guys. Let me just poke it with a popsicle and see what happens. Okay. Well, I'm gonna give it a little stir. What's great about these little pots of paint is you can stick a popsicle stick in it and stir everything around. But I don't need much, so, oh, that's more than enough. So let's write down what, oh, let me, getting stuff all over me. Okay, so this is the folk art chalk. Set that aside. Wow, it really looks matte on the um, on the gel plate. Ooh. Okay, so it does work, but it's not that pretty. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not really into that. And it felt, it's already completely dry, guys. It's already completely dry. It dries super fast. This, I would imagine, is something where you gotta have, you're just going to have to work really quick. Um, do not let it sit because it's going to dry up way too quick on you. Okay. See, that's the whole point of me sitting here doing all of this so I can see what I like and what I don't like. Okay, guys, this is Neopaque. This is a light body opaque acrylic, and this is magenta, and I already can see that I'm going to have to stir it up. Yeah. It's a pretty, really bright color. Now, again, this is another one. I don't know if this is going to work or not. We shall see. A little bit on there. Okay. Neopaque, and this one is just the regular opaque acrylic. I need like shorthand so I can do this quick. Okay. how this one looks. You kind of have to work this one a little bit to, you know. Okay, that worked pretty good. Guys, I picked up some green. I guess I didn't have my plate completely clean, but this works. This works better than I thought it was going to work. Isn't that beautiful? You have a, a lot of pigment. Like, I'll, I'll just bring this chalk paint in here. 
See the difference? And guys, this feels very, very chalky. Well, I mean, it's chalk paint, but I'm gonna stick my finger in and see if it's dry. Oh my gosh, it's already dry. Guys, the, the uh, acrylic, well, I smudged that one just a bit. The acrylic paint dries so quickly. But um, now you're ready to go and start adding other things and doing other things to it. That's what's so fun about acrylic paint is you can work fast with it. Okay. Although, guys, I love my oil paint. I love my oil paint, but I just really love to play with acrylics. Okay. Let's see what we have now. This is called, um, oh, this is another chalk paint. This is American Decor, and this is, the color's called Treasure. Oh, I can hear it. It needs to be stirred. Let me see if I can stick a popsicle down here. Oh my gosh, yes, this paint really needs to be stirred. Ooh, I think it's a little chunky. Oh, well, it is very inexpensive paint. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna put a little bit on there and let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. Change my little paper over here. I've been rolling out. You know, I think it was I think it was my brayer. Yeah, there we go. Oh, my brayer just put a little bit of pink down. I just saw that. But guys, I just don't want to stop to clean my brayer. So it's okay. We'll have little bits of other colors in the paint. Now remember, this is chalk paint, so it dries really fast. You have to work fast. Oh. See, I didn't work fast enough. I just, I don't know. Guys, I am thinking chalk paint, either you, you use a lot more chalk paint, a heavier hand with your chalk paint when you're putting it down on your gel, your little gel plate, or you just work super fast because chalk paint, I don't think is a good fit for a gel plate. Just an FYI, but that's the whole point of doing what I'm doing right now. And I hope you guys are not bored. I hope you're, you know, actually learning something. Okay, next is, okay guys, this is the best. This is Akua um, ink. This is a professional, uh, ink for gel plates. This is what the, the you know, oh, I got a little, I got a little bit on me. This is what professional artists use who work with um, printmaking and it's fabulous. Okay, I'm going to give it a little stir and this um, stays open. Oh my gosh, you could actually leave this out for days and it would be just fine. That's why the professionals use it, because it doesn't. Now, this is, this is way more than I even need, guys. But if you're looking for a professional uh, quality product for your gel plate, this is it. This is the good stuff. Oh, and I didn't even, and you know what, guys? I didn't even write anything down yet, but since this stays open for so long, it's okay. I already know this is good, so I don't even have to do this little sample thing, but I'm going to show you guys. Oh, it's so fabulous. This stuff is the best. 
absolutely the best. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a little clean. And usually what I would use with this is a little bit of baby oil. This is probably not going to get all the red up. It's okay. Let's move on to, okay, now this is one of the things I don't know if I'm making a mistake by putting this on my gel plate. We shall see. This is metallic paint by Lumiere. It's a light body metallic paint. So, ooh, let me go ahead and write down my card first. don't know how this is going to turn out. Oh gosh, guys, my brayer <laughs> is just going to be red for a while. I'm trying to um, get the red off, but we're just going to have red on it. Okay. Ooh, I love how sparkly it is. All right. Hmm. Maybe you have to be heavy handed with this too because guys, it dries super, super fast. And it didn't lift up a lot, but if you're going for that kind of a really soft look, it works. But I, I'm not picking up a lot of metallic. It's probably because there's just a little bit of paint on here. but. But the point of making all of these cards is I can refer back to these cards. I can see, okay, wow, the Akua ink lays down a lot of ink quick. This one, you put it down. If this is your base, this is what you're going to get. It's going to be, it's going to be light like this. I'm trying to be um, the same with every single swatch card I do. I'm just putting down a very thin layer of paint and seeing what I pull up. So this is what a thin layer of, of Akua looks like. And this is what you're gonna pull with a thin layer of this metallic. So that's, you know, that's kind of my game plan here, guys. Let's go ahead and clean this plate. Now I just have a, uh, a bucket to the side of me filled with about three towels completely soaked in water. It's so handy to have right next to you. And then I have a stack of dry towels. And this is helping me keep everything nice and clean. Okay, so next I have, um, this is acrylic paint. This is Thallo Green by My Artscape. This is a great very affordable paint. You can use this paint for so many things. It's a, I believe this is the heavy body. Yes, oh my gosh, yes it is. Okay, just gonna put a little bit here. And All right. Oh my gosh, guys, this might even be, oh my gosh, this might even be too thick for me to, <laughs> it might be too thick for me to roll out. I think I need more. Look at all, I picked every bit of it up onto my, um, well, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. What am I going to do? I'm going to try this again. Should I put more? Is that even, should I even? All right, let's see what happens. Oh, this is ridiculous. 
maybe really thick paint is not the way to go with your gel plate. We shall see. Man, this paint is thick. Oh my gosh, look, I'm just picking it right back up onto my brayer. My brayer is fuzzy now. Can you guys see that? I don't know what is happening, but this paint does not want to stick to my... Oh my goodness. Oh Lord, it's sticking to everything. Okay, all right. I need to clean my brayer because I've just made a huge mess. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly, quickly clean it off. And, yeah, that's pretty clean. That's pretty clean, much better. Okay, so I'm gonna call this a fail. Thumbs down on the My Artscape. So I'm gonna just scooch that over there and say, now, now I have to try to clean my plate. Well, that's not too bad. So the My Artscape paint did not want to stick to the gel plate. We learned something. Next. Okay, I have some paint here. It's a heavy body acrylic paint by Bria Reese. This is uh, raw umber. Let me write it down first. Um, heavy body. All right. Oh, I dropped it. All right, that's more than enough. See, that rolls on nice. Nice and smooth. Okay. Oh, see, that worked really well. Oh my gosh, it's already dry. That dried really fast. It picked up really well on the, uh, on the paper. I got good coverage. And let me bring in this one so you can see. You see, it picked up really well. And just again, ignore those lines. I'm just quickly rolling things on. This is about... Um, not about creating art, it's about testing to see what works and what doesn't. Okay. Next, I have some Jane Davenport paint. Okay, this one is, is this her metallic? Oh, this is the metallic. Okay, and what color is this? Is this her copper? I don't see the color name. I don't see the color name, but I think this is just copper. Ooh, look guys, I haven't even opened it yet. It's brand new. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? Okay. Wow, that rolls on nice and smooth. Let's see if this metallic works better than the Lumiere. Ooh, it does. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me show you guys. This is the Lumiere, and this is the Jane Davenport. It, it rolled on nice and smooth, and it picked up really well. Okay, so thumbs up to the Jane Davenport Metallic. That turned out really, really well. Okay, now I have some Jane Davenport. Uh, this is just her plain acrylic paint. It's not metallic. So 
So I'm going to try this one too. Okay, let's see if I, this one's open. Yeah, this one's open already. So this one also rolls on nice and smooth. Okay, let's see how this works. Oh, that picked up really well. Now I'm thinking I have some metallic here. <laughs> some of that metallic copper is mixed in because it was still on my roller, but if you ignore that, the color picked up beautifully. So Jane Davenport, her paint, her acrylic paint works really well on the gel plate. Okay, that's a winner. I might have to change my towel and get a new towel. This one looks like it's quite full of paint. Okay. Okay, so this is one I'm not sure about. This is called Sparks. This is by Art Alchemy by Prima Marketing. And this is like, this is not metallic paint. This is almost like glitter, which I'm a little nervous to put on my gel plate. But, but, let's see how it works. So I'm going to put, let me write down Art Alchemy. Okay. I'm going to give it a little stir. Now this is very thin. It's not thick paint. So I'm expecting it to go on, you know, pretty easily. Let's see. Oh gosh, very sparkly. I think, I feel like I need more, but it rolls on really, really smooth. Let's see if I can get it to pick up. Oh wow, okay, it picked up really well. This worked better than I thought it was going to. I can see the sparkle. Yeah, that did really good. Okay, thumbs up for that one too. Now I don't, <laughs> I hope I don't have glitter embedded now into my gel plate. That is the only thing I was worried about, but I wanted to try it. And if all else fails, guys, I can flip my gel plate over and use the other side, so it's like no big deal. But, yeah, I needed to see. Okay, so this is also by Art Alchemy. This is their metallic paint, and this is the most beautiful color. This is dark velvet. Let me go ahead and write this down first. What did I say it was? Metallic. Okay. I'm going to get another popsicle stick. And again, this is very fluid, guys. This is not a thick paint at all. Oh my gosh, look at that color. Okay, let me try to clean my prayer off. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful and smooth that rolls on. Oh, that's nice. Now I have a little bit of glitter left over. 
that's coming off. So there's now it's a. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. I just want to see how this lifts up. Oh, that did really well. But got. Good, good lord, what am I doing? Um, I can see I still had some of the color, some of that dark color on there, but it lifts really well. Okay, so the Art Alchemy does really well, and I think, guys, because it's such a thin formula that it just, you know, comes right off. Okay, let's move on to the next. Let me grab a clean... The next color is, ooh, okay, so this is Dilutions Paint. How do you spell Dilutions? Dilutions Acrylic. Okay, this is also made by Ranger, and let me pull these colors in right here, guys. Okay, so this is by Dina Wakeley, this is by Tim Holtz, and this is by Diane Reevely. They're all three made by Ranger, but the formula for each paint is very different. So I thought I would mention that. But I like these big wide mouth pots. So let me grab a little. Now this is not as thick as um, the Dina Wakeley. This is like a heavy body. This is not as thick, but the thinnest formula is the Distress by Tim Holtz. So that's just a little FYI. And I don't know if you guys saw that on camera. I, I have it zoomed in. Let me, let me do this again. So this is the thickest by Dina Wakeley. This is the thinnest by um, Tim Holtz. And this is like the in-between. So, okay, all right guys, I need to clean my brayer off just a bit because I just have stuff all over it. Okay, there we go, that's better. There's a little something on there. Now, in my personal opinion, I think the thinner formula paint works best. Just a little, you know, a little FYI, my opinion. Ooh, that pulled off beautifully. Guys, this works so well. The Dilutions acrylic paint in the pots that's fabulous. That's really good. Okay. And so far, guys, that just might be the best one we've done. So far. Okay. Now, oh, this is another one. I have no idea what's going to happen here, guys. This is actually called Texture Paste by, uh, by Cosmic Shimmer. And let's see, it's called Old Gold. I don't know what's gonna happen. I wanna try it though. So let's make our little swatch card. Now what is it called? Texture Paste. Now this is the kind of thing you're got, you'd want to use like through a stencil and you get, when it dries, you get like a little raised, you know. Let me clean my brayer. I just, I feel like I need to get all this green off of here before I dip into that. Okay, now it's good. All right. So I don't know what's going to happen here, guys, but let's find out. I think that's good. Ooh, look at that gold. Oh my gosh, guys, that is metallic. So it rolls out really, really nice. 
Very, very smooth. Let's see if this works. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, so far that is the best metallic I've tried and it's very, very shiny. Wow. Okay, so they come in little pots just like this. It's called Texture Paste by Cosmic, uh, Cosmic Shimmer. And this, the color, this color is called Old Gold. They come in lots of different colors. But that's what it looks like, guys. Wow. That is fabulous. Look at all that shine. And it's very, very even, very uniform across. It picked up so nice. Oh my gosh, it's already dry. Guys, it's already dry, and that is fabulous. All that shine you see is not from it being wet, because it's not wet. That's good. That's really, really good. All right, we need to clean now. And the next thing I want to try is, okay, this is by Vicki Booten, and this is called, um, this is her glaze, and this is the Rose Gold Glaze. I don't know how this is going to act, guys, like the other one, but it turned that one turned out so well, I have high hopes for this one now. What am I gonna, I'm just gonna write glaze, because really that's what it is. Okay, so I am going to, let's open this up. Okay. But look how thick this is, guys. Okay, so the other one worked so well, I'm thinking this might do the same. The formula seems very similar. Okay, let me clean some of this gold off of here. I've got quite a bit of gold on my brayer. Okay. Okay, we're good now. Ooh, this goes on the same, very smooth. What's this? Oh, this one's called Rose Gold. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that is beautiful. That is so beautiful and it's shiny. Oh my goodness. That worked better than I thought it was going to. Okay, so guys, the don't forget, this is called Cosmic Shimmer Texture Paste, and this is the Vicki Booten. Um, it's called, um, this is the Rolled Gold Glaze. So her glaze, oh my goodness. Let's see if it's already, no, it's still a little, it's still a little tacky. It doesn't dry as fast as the Cosmic Shimmer Texture Paste. It's, you know, but it's, oh my gosh, guys, that's so beautiful. Oh, I love it. That is fabulous. Okay, so let's clean all of this off and move on to the next thing. I've got so many things I'm playing with here. I just wanted to try everything today. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have two um, antiquing glazes here. I have no idea what this is going to do. This is an antiquing cream by Deco Art. Is it even opened? Yeah, it's opened. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens. Deco Art. What is it called? All right. 
Let's see what happens. Oh, well, I need to shake this up, apparently. I might even have to stick a popsicle stick in there. Okay, the color. What is the color of this? Oh, this is raw umber. Okay. So, oh my gosh, it rolls on very smooth. And guys, there's a little bit of that metallic paint still on my brayer. So if you see those pink lines, it's just, it's going to be okay. I just want to see how this lifts up. Oh, okay, so that works. Guys, this would be, this antiquing glaze, if you, let's say, did a piece of art um, on your gel plate and you just wanted to, I don't know, antique it a little bit, I guess you could go over it uh, with this. That would be interesting or not, but it works. This is better than I expected, okay. So, I have another one right here, too. This is also Antiquing Cream by Folk Art. Let's see if there's an, a difference between, uh, between these two. Okay, give it a... Give it a little shake. Ooh. Okay, so this one is much thicker. Oh, there's a little hair or something there. Yeah, this one is much thicker, but it still ro rolls out very smooth. Ooh, I can't wait to to pull this and see what it looks like. Oh, that pulled very easily. That did not stick at all. So that works, and that works really, really well. Okay, so the Folk Art Antiquing Cream, yeah, I think it all came up. I don't even think there's any left on there. Wow. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so this is the Deco Art Antiquing Cream, and this is the Folk Art Antiquing Cream. Big difference. Yeah, that's a big difference. This one, this one works better. But if you're looking for that just little bit of tint, you know, you might want to use that one. Okay, what's next? Oh, gosh, okay. This is exciting. You know what? For the next bunch. I think I'm going to use my fingers. I'm not even going to use the brayer, but let's go ahead and clean everything off. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get, I'm going to get my spray bottle. Okay, so I have a gelato here. All right. So let's just see what happens. I'm just going to kind of rub it on here. Rub it on, and then I think I'm going to put, I'm going to, I'm going to use my finger. Kind of spread it around. Oh my gosh, I don't think it's moving. I'm going to put a little bit more on there and see what happens. This is weird. I can still see where I had colored it on there. I don't know if this is gonna, I don't know if this is gonna work, guys. This is almost like putting watercolor down, but I don't know. Let's see what happens. Nope, that's just kind of weird. That's just a little weird. I don't like that at all. 
And look, it stained my gel plate. I didn't know it was going to do that. Did you guys know that the gelatos would stain your gel plate? Hmm, that's interesting. I'm turning it over because that kind of bugs me. Okay, so I have a clean side now. Look, you can see right through it where it's stained. Okay, well, now I'm probably going to stain my gel plate again. This is a Distress Crayon by Tim Holtz. Oh, heck, I'm going to use, since I stained it already, I'm probably going to stain it again. All right. Oh, what did I just do? All right, this color is called Pine Needle. Well, should I put water down first? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Now, now it doesn't want to go on because I put water down first. Even though it is water soluble, look at that, guys. It doesn't want to go down. Well, let me dry it off. It doesn't want to go down. That's so weird. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to go down on the. Have you guys ever tried to use a Distress Crayon on a gel plate? Well, that looks like as, as much as I'm going to be able to get down. Yep, I think I just stained it green now. So I've got purple and green going on. Oh God, this is going to be a disaster. I'm just going to quickly pick it up. Yeah. Oh, I'm just throwing that away. Yeah, well that doesn't work. Well, at least the way I try to do it, it doesn't work. So maybe you guys know how to use a Distress Crayon on a gel plate. But anyway, let's move on. I have some markers here. Let's see if these work. This is by Marabou. This is called an Aqua Pen. So let me write this down. All right, let's see. This is a, I'm using the brush tip and I'm just gonna put some color down. I mean, you can get color on there and I'm gonna put a little bit of water to move it around. Oh guys, I am just totally staining up my gel plate. It's okay. I don't think this is gonna, I don't think this is gonna do very well, but we shall see. You know what you can do, guys? Well, yeah, I think you can. Um, guys, that does not work. You know what I'm thinking? I wonder if you use this, let it dry, and then go over with paint. And then I wonder if it'll pick up. I don't know. I don't know. But I have a bunch of paint pens here. Let's see. I have, this is my Tombow. My Faber-Castell Pit Pen. I have a Zig uh, Clean Color Real Brush. Let's see. This is the Distress Marker by Tim Holtz the um, Art and Graphic Twin by Zig, and then I have a Winsor & Newton watercolor marker. I was gonna test all these out on here. Um, I think they're pretty much gonna perform the same way this one did. I mean, I can't see why they would perform any differently, because that was just terrible. Um, should I try? You know, this is India ink. Let me try this. Oh, I'm really going to stain it with this. I don't think I should put India ink on here. What about watercolor? This is a Winsor & Newton watercolor marker. I should use the chisel. No, this is a brush. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see what happens. 
let's just um, not put water and see if it'll lift up what that looks like. All right, let's add water. I mean, it can write on there, guys. Let me add just a touch of water. And again, I think I'm just staining my gel plate. That's really all I'm accomplishing with these markers. Okay, there is a technique that you can use with ink on your gel plate. Um, and I've done it before, but I don't think these markers, I just don't think these markers are um, the right kind of ink to do that with. So I'm just gonna stop here and let's kind of review of what we've already done. So, we will start with this one. This one was the uh, Thalo Green Art, My Artscape um, Heavy Body Paint. This just did not work, I think, because it was so incredibly thick. Just didn't, just didn't work. The Gelatos, um, I'm going to say pass. I don't think the Gelatos worked. The Folk Art Antiquing Cream, guys. I was surprised by this. I grabbed this. I don't even know why I grabbed it. I just, I just grabbed it thinking it really wasn't going to work, but I wanted to see. This was really so much better than I thought. I like that. That's, that's pretty cool. Then we have the Antiquing Cream by Deco Art. It's much lighter, but it's still kind of interesting. This is Fabulous. This is probably, these two right here are my biggest surprise. I didn't know what to expect, but boy, this this performed so well. This is the Vicki Booten Glaze. Now, I have the glaze in, you know, I think all the colors that she has, but boy, guys, that's fabulous, and it's super shiny. It did not lose anything. It just is a very even beautiful shine picked up really nice on the gel plate and so did the texture paste by cosmic shimmer did really really well okay so the dilutions acrylic paint in the pot let me grab it this one right here performed really well really really well this is a good acrylic to use on your gel plate and the uh, metallic by Art Alchemy picked up well too. Although this is a this is a mixture of uh, I think I have some of this Bria Reese on here too, but that's okay. But that worked. Now the Bria Reese acrylic laid down very very smooth and picked up nice too. Now this is the Art Alchemy Sparks. This is the one that's almost like glitter. This did pretty good, but not as well as the metallic. Let me pick this up. This is the metallic, and this is that glitter. It's called Sparks. It did good. Um, you know, they both performed about the same, but I, I like the metallic better. Oh my gosh, Jane Davenport. Her acrylic paint worked so well. Now this is the regular acrylic paint, and this is the metallic and they both did really, really well. Okay, this is the Lumiere Metallic. It dries super fast, so it did pick up, but not as well as the um, less expensive brands. And of course, Akua. The Akua ink is just fabulous. This is, this is the professional brand that I used, and it really, really did good. Okay, so this is the Cheap America Decor Chalk Paint. I don't think the chalk paints do too well on gel plates. So, yeah, that's the chalk paint. And this is the Neopaque Acrylic, the Opaque Acrylics, and that did good. Now this is the chalk paint by Folk Art. Again, I just don't think the chalks performed that well, but this one did better. 
Oh my gosh, this one was weird. Um, this is Distress Paint by Tim Holtz, and you see all these little speckle things? I love this effect, but I had no control over why it did that. I don't, I don't know. But I think it is cool. But if you're not looking for this kind of a look, I mean, you might want to avoid this paint. I don't know why it was beating up on my gel plate like that. This is the Dina Wakely acrylic paint. This is the heavy body paint. It did really well. And then the Folk Art Matte Acrylic Paint. Um, yeah, it didn't do so good. I mean, it's okay, but not as well as some of the others. And then, you know, <laughs> the markers, the water-soluble markers that I tried. Um, yeah, these, I was thinking they were going to perform like um, ink, like the um, the ink pads that I've that I like to use, but they don't. They don't seem to work um, well at all. So that's it. I'm so excited I did this, and um, you know, now I know. And what I'm going to do is just poke a little hole with a hole punch and run a piece of string on it, and I'll have this handy to refer back to. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this rather long video, and I'll see you later. Bye!